Hey, you too. How art thou? I hope thou art good. Today, let's talk about a city, a city that is nicknamed the Heart of Dixie. It is named for General Richard Montgomery, who had been killed during the American Revolution. Of course, I'm talking about Montgomery, Alabama. Now, one thing to note about this place, it's religious. You know, um, I don't know if that's a pro or con for you, so I didn't really necessarily put that on any of the lists, but that's something I will state. This place is religious. Um, it is located in the Bible Belt along with northern Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama. It's in Alabama. Mississippi, North Carolina, southern and western Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina, and East Texas. Keep that in mind. Place is religious. There's pros about the place, cons about the place. But if you're thinking about moving to Birmingham, Alabama, watch my top reasons to move to Birmingham, Alabama. <sighs> okay, so apparently number 10, this number 10 actually doesn't really belong on the list. <sighs> it don't belong on the list. But watch, and, watch it anyway. Number 10 that doesn't belong on the list, drivers. Okay, somebody was stressing heavily that there was a major texting and driving problem in Montgomery. So I looked it up and this is what I found. The DOT reports that in 2017, there were 156,993 crashes on Alabama roads, resulting in 47,000, 771 injuries and 948 fatalities. A motor vehicle accident was reported every three minutes and 20 seconds in Alabama. Every 11 minutes, a person was injured in an auto accident and a person died in a crash every nine hours and 14 minutes. Keep that in mind. But once again, this actually does not go on the list of why you should move to Montgomery, Alabama. And also, those stats were about Alabama, not just Montgomery. But, you know, I beg your pardon for my lack of organization. Yeah, but it's something I still wanted the people to know if you're thinking about moving to Montgomery, Alabama. That, that stat is something that, you know, yeah, yeah, that's still a stat. Number nine, convenience. Okay, so there's a fair bit amount of things to do in Montgomery, Alabama. You know, you know, some things to keep you busy, but if it's not enough, Montgomery, Alabama is centrally located within the state of Alabama. So, you know, it's close to Birmingham and Atlanta. So that's just more activities that you can pick up if you want to go to those places and travel and whatnot. So yeah, convenience. And do y'all see why I put the, the microwave there with the, the pizza? You know, instead of making a whole new pizza, the microwave there is for your convenience you just put it in and warm it up Ding. number eight family life so montgomery alabama would be actually a good place to raise a family i mean i can't tell you everything but if you uh just keep following the list you will see why it is a good place to raise a family Number seven, cost of living, and stay tuned to the end for some Montgomery, Alabama trivia. Okay, so the cost of living in Montgomery, Alabama is rated a B plus by Area Vibes. It is 11% lower than the nation's average, and the housing is 30% lower than the nation's average. Number six, weather. Now somebody quotes, there's decent weather most of the year. You know, in them parentheses, midsummer can be awful, but that's true anywhere. Montgomery, Alabama averages zero inches of snow per year. You know, the U.S. average is 28 inches of snow per year. You know, uh, there's summer heat and humidity, but you know, October, May, and April are the most pleasant months. It was said, October averages at 79 degrees. May averages at 84 degrees. April averages at 77 degrees. Number five, looks of the houses. So um, I'm not just talking about houses in general in Montgomery, Alabama, but I'm talking about the looks of the houses. You know, they have McMansions there. Uh, if you're a fan of McMansions, they got it. 
Another thing I want to add about these houses, this is not has nothing to do with the looks of the houses or the McMansions or anything, but you can actually like say go to I guess what some people would call the hood, <laughs> and you can like you know find a real real cheap house in some of these areas. Just imagine buying a house for forty thousand dollars, you put like a couple thousand in it, and you have a a house, like you don't have to pay no mortgage, like you're you're good, you know. Uh, I I'm a fan of that idea, you know. You just live below your means now granted you will be maybe not in the most uh you know comfortable neighborhood but i'm just a fan of like you know living below your means uh that's something else to keep in mind but that's just a personal thing number four beaches now if you want to escape you know the summer heat and the humidity you know there's uh some beaches now some of them are closer, some of them are further. You know, you got the Gulf Shores, Main Public Beach, Alabama Point Beach, the Fort Morgan Public Beach, the West Beach, the Fair Hope Beach, the Romer Beach, the Cotton Bayou, <laughs> Bayou Beach, you got Dolphin Island, and so on and so forth. Um, there may be more or less, but just keep that in mind. Trivia time. They call Montgomery, Alabama, Monkey Town because of A, Oakhurst used to have an island of monkeys, B, racism, C, the access grass resembled monkey hair, or D, when riding on the highway, the sound it made was as a monkey. And if you guessed A, Oakhurst, used to have an island of monkeys, then you are correct. Number three, Southern hospitality. Now somebody on the block says, nice people would give the shirt off their back to a stranger. You know, then turns around and says, service people have a tendency to talk too much instead of working. I don't wanna hear your life story. Don't care to share mine. <laughs> I'm from the North. Um, this person may be a northerner uh you know they may be i don't know they, they kind of sound somewhat like me because it's like you know if i go to the store for an, an apple i don't want to sit here and be in a 20 minute conversation with somebody because i want to go to the store and buy an apple like people are, are friendly i want to go to the store buy my apple and leave no i'm not trying to sit there and and you know exchange stories about when I was younger and, and our grandmas did this to yeah I'm not trying to do that I'm just not but um yeah keep that in mind and then somebody else quotes the people once no no it says the people once you've made a friend here you've made one for life <laughs> there is an attitude of generosity that exists in the city if you're willing to see it conservative gentle highly religious and perhaps at times a little vanilla, but sincerely some of the finest people you'll ever come across in life. Yeah, I'm from the North. We just not like this, but I mean, if you looking for some Southern hospitality, Montgomery, Alabama has it to offer. Number two, slow paced. Now, this is like a slower pace of life, you know, it's laid back, it's down to earth, it's slower, you know, it's not congested, and you know, some would even say sometimes, boring. You know, uh, someone wrote that, or something to that extent. But, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, if you're from like a, a busy city like New York City, or, you know, Los Angeles, this may be like a culture shock to you. So uh, this is a place, if you're really from a big city, you might want to go there, check it out, get a good feel for it, and then decide if you want to move there or not. You know, uh, I don't know if it's common that people move from New York City to Montgomery, Alabama, <laughs> or Los Angeles to Montgomery, Alabama, but hey, I don't know. I don't have stats for that. No, sir. But um, yeah, I've always wanted to, myself personally, live somewhat in the country, somewhat. You know, just for a slower pace of life because it seems like when you're like in a country type of settings life just goes by slower but be close enough to a big city 
you know, to the point where it's, you know, I got malls right there, this right here, that right there, things at my convenience, but at the same time, I can experience like a, a slower paced life. I mean, that's just me though, but keep that in mind. And number one, history. Now, Montgomery, Alabama is painted with history. Uh, somebody quotes, Montgomery is the most historically significant city in Alabama, providing the setting for many events which have shaped American culture at large. It, it truly is a redeeming point of the city. The, the air is thick with historical relevance, relics of civil war, and the civil rights movement abound in Montgomery. You can spend a lot of worthwhile time exploring these rich cultural markers. Keep that in mind. So there you guys have it. That's the list. My top reasons why you should move to Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery overall seems like a decent place. Would I move there? Probably not. Well, unless I can get one of those houses that are that are like, you know, very, very cheap. If they have houses there that are very, very cheap. And uh, you know, if I can get one like around like 40,000 or something like crazy like that, super cheap, then maybe is a possibility that it would be a yes. But um besides that it seems like a decent place yeah maybe i'll visit soon but make sure you comment like subscribe dot 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 if you want to and until next time i wish you guys nothing but the best look at that squirrel <laughs> look at the way he eats